What's up guys, F. Fernandez here again, bringing you guys a tutorial on a wave cut with the grain and a blowout. The blowout is gonna be with the zero and it's close, he doesn't want it skin. We're gonna start by using the Andes Masters with the number one double magnetic guard going with the grain. Now when doing a wave cut, <clears throat> you guys gotta make sure, of course, they wanna keep the waves. You don't wanna dig the teeth of the guard into the head itself. Just make sure that it's flat and you're going with the grain. Now also keep in mind, there's a lot of clients that have a lot of cowlicks. Make sure that you find those before you start. Just like you see here, I'm coming, finding which part in the hair is growing. Because if you go against it, when trying to do a wave cut or going with the grain and by mistake, you go against the grain, you're gonna end up cutting the hair lower in that specific part and it's gonna look like a bald spot. So make sure that you're always coning, making sure which way the hair is growing. All right guys, another little trick that I wanna show you when dealing with, a, with cowlicks, make sure when you find them, use the corner of the guard or the corner of the blade itself, just a few teeth and working that cowlick out first so you know exactly where it is. Like that you will not create a bowl spot. So we're gonna start with the Andes Masters close this Andes Master is zero gap. <clears throat> and we're gonna create the first guideline. line. We're gonna open it halfway and using the corner of the teeth, we're gonna continue to open the level up until it's completely open and working our way up. When doing a blowout or doing a mohawk, I like using the corners a lot of the machine. <clears throat> now this is the zero double magnetic guard on the open position. Now I just close it more and like you can see here, I'm using the teeth a lot. And after this, we actually gonna go with the grain on a halfway position to take some of the bulk off. So now I'm just gonna do some cleanup work with the Andes Master on the halfway position using just a few of the teeth of the blade. And what you do on one side, you're gonna repeat on the other side. I'm gonna skip the other side just to speed up the video a little bit more. So keep in mind the process. You're also gonna do that on the right side of the client. Here we're gonna start working the back and this master on the closed position. Then the and this master is on the open position. Now we're just gonna keep closing the level and working our way up using the corner of the machine, the corner of the blade to achieve a better blend. And just like we did on the side, we actually gonna use the zero guard on the close wave position and then we're gonna open it up and work our way down as well. Keep closing the level down. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Andes Blackout Edition, the TL lines that just came out not too long ago. <clears throat> it is zero gap. Make sure that when you are creating the edge, do not push it back. Make sure that you do bend the ear when you're going around the loop so you don't end up nicking the client. <clears throat> make sure that you always have a little cone in your hand and make sure that you're brushing the hair so you don't end up pushing the edge back. You wanna keep it as natural as possible. 
Also, when I'm doing the front, <clears throat> I like to always comb the hair down and I like to start on the middle of the forehead and working my way out. All right, so here we finishing the other side now. If you do need to get your T-outliners zero gap, I do have a video, so make sure you go and look at that video. Make sure that you guys subscribe, like, comment. Make sure that you turn your notifications to on so you know when the next video will drop. And if you guys have any questions, wanna see any other videos, I have a few already requests and I'm working on those as we speak those are coming here pretty soon I'm here to help you guys so if you have any questions let me know I'll be more than glad to assist you guys yeah I'm using the 245 shaving gel just came out not too long ago great gel also I'm using the 245 straight razor with the prime Dorco blade the blue ones and all we're doing here is just doing cleanup work, cleaning what we did with the T outlines. Now, remember, this guy doesn't want to be bold because it creates bumps. So all I'm doing is some cleanup work. Now, this is the finished product, guys. Again, turn your notifications to on. Make sure that you comment, subscribe, and see you around. See you next time.